Hey there, Virgo. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message. So take what fits your situation and leave what doesn't. If you're interested in personal readings, donations, Amazon wish list, all that stuff and more is in the description box below. But let's go ahead and get started. For Virgo, please and thank you, Spirit. What are the messages for Virgo today? Retreat, time alone or in nature will help you recharge. Stability, this relationship can stand the test of time. The test of time. Test of time. Ooh, there's some wordplay there. Have you ever heard the saying, if you spend enough time around somebody, you're going to start to get irritated by them? You're going to notice things about them that bother you that you didn't even notice before. You spend enough time with someone, you'll see them in a new light. You spend enough time with someone, you'll get to know who they really are. Sides of them that they don't show anybody else. Sides of them they might even uh, refuse to admit themselves. The test of time... I'm also getting true, unconditional love. Like no matter what tests you guys, whatever obstacles you come across, no matter how many times life puts you guys in, in different positions or different rooms, you know what I mean? You guys just end up going your separate ways or life takes you different, whatever. There is always love. There's always understanding. There's always forgiveness. That's beautiful. What else do we have for Virgo? Strictly sexual. This connection is passionate but not enduring, but can stand the test of time, but to not endure. This is on again, off again. Should I stay or should I go now? But it's like no matter what happens, you can't shake this person because like it's... It never lasts, but they always come back. Um, is this like twin flame or something? What is this? Past life, love. Oh, okay. Your soul remembers this intense connection. Oh, so maybe in the past you guys weren't able to have the enduring connection. But maybe this lifetime is different. This could also be that someone needs to leave a situation, be financially responsible, have that job, make this move, pay off those bills, end a relationship or a marriage before they will get into a relationship because in the past, they've learned that these situations are not viewed in a very positive light. I got a lot of messages from that. Yep, time apart. Some distance will help bring clarity. Some of you guys need some space right now. You need some time to think about this. Because this this is... Um, honestly, I'm kind of surprised I'm not more confused about this reading. <laughs> this is... Um, it's complicated. Ooh. It is a twin flame. Okay, yeah, that doesn't really surprise me too much. For others, it could be a soulmate. All right, twin flame soulmate. But this is an intense connection, okay? Right here, this intense connection. And it could be reminding you of something that happened years ago in this lifetime. Or it's just that your soul feels like you know this person. Because you have, you have in a different life. Let's dive a little deeper into this. 422, which is also 4-4, four, four. could be significant, twos and fours. That's about alignment and unity and very firm foundations. Also, twin flame is a four. Somebody could have a life number four, life path number four. Somebody could also play golf. I'm getting a lot now. Four-wheel drive. 
new tires something about somebody got new tires anyways retreat is the four of cups somebody's just not feeling it even if nothing's like really wrong there's something that is just not what we wanted this isn't what I expected this isn't what I wanted and again that could be the past Like, I want this, but I don't want it like that. Ooh. Okay. Stability. Why is stability here? I totally just smelled Italian dressing. Was that like a sub or a salad? Mmm, I smelled that. Anyway, stability. Why is this here? For Virgo, please and thank you. The movement of swords, which is the night, Aquarius energy. Something is supposed to go somewhere now. It couldn't in the past for whatever reason. is very unfortunate. Um, I don't think either one of you were too happy about that. But it, there's something about now it's going to work. And if this is a new person in your life, again, I'm just talking about a past life that you share together. What is strictly sexual? Because I am really interested to see why that came out right next to... It can stand the test of time and then it's not enduring. Like, explain that. I have questions. <laughs> Why is strictly sexual here? For some of you guys, I am talking about a sexual relationship and that's all that this means. Right? For some of you, it couldn't work in the past. The innocence of pentacle. Yeah, it's new. It's new. From the beginning, it's been intimately interested. Yeah. This has been in intimate from the start. That's what I want to say. Yeah, and then the Knight of Wands. So that's talking about um, having this drive, having this passion, having this um, momentum. It's also about being very comfortable and going after what it is that you want, that, that you're passionate about, right? So I feel like both of you decided right from the get-go that you were interested in each other. Okay. Past life. Yes, thank you. Justice. Yeah. So there's something that couldn't happen in the past, but it, you're getting your justice in this lifetime. It's like you can be balanced. You can be what it is you want it to be. The victory wreath here. Yeah. I think you guys asked to come back but actually have that chance. Yeah, time apart with the death card. If you have not met this person yet, <laughs> you can hold your breath. This is coming to a, an end. The divine sees fit that you guys deserve each other. For others of you, you're already with this person. I'm just kind of explaining what you already thought anyways. So this is just pure confirmation for some of you. We have Libra Scorpio. Could be a cusper. We also have Aquarius out here. Pretty sure I said that. Um, let's talk about Twin Flame real quick here. interesting how death can't touch the butterfly it's like you wanted you wanted to grasp this connection but you just couldn't you couldn't but that's over now that butterfly is transformation look at the moon phases you guys have had many lifetimes together this might be lucky number 13 for you or 11 somebody could have a life path 11 Oh, yeah. You could even have a lot of Libra in your birth chart, too. Rising. Aquarius, Libra, Scorpio, rising. Twin flame. Why is twin flame here? Please and thank you for Virgo. I have the six of wands. Victory and success. Recognition and reward. I think... 
you guys are getting to come together in this lifetime because your souls have earned it somehow that I don't think I'm supposed to understand. But that's the message from the universe to you right now. I'm going to leave it right there. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.